The 2024 Colts season has been a bit of a disaster. Now, they're 3-3, three and three, uh, but their rookie quarterback, Anthony Richardson, has been injured out for the season with an AC joint injury in his throwing shoulder. Jonathan Taylor spent the first four or whatever games of the season not playing in a contract holdout. So, you know what? We're taking over. We're fixing it. We're turning it around. We are going to start our new Colts franchise today. And it all starts by going back to the offseason. Shane Steichen, you're doing an okay job, but you need another year to marinate as the OC in Philadelphia. We're bringing Jim Harbaugh home to the Colts. He's taking over. We're going to run some smash mouth football mixed with a little modern day spread. We also went in and edited Jonathan Taylor's contract. We've got him through 2026, just like in real life. He has set the market for running backs, and we are having him as part of his plan. Now, we've got about four or five years here because Anthony Richardson is on a rookie contract for a quarterback. So we're going to try to surround him with as many weapons as possible, let him grow, and build this into a Super Bowl team. Let's take a look at the roster. All right, so obviously we got the unicorn, Anthony Richardson, at quarterback. He's a 71 overall scrambler right now with hidden development, 60 as a field general. So we've got some work to do to get him to fit into our scheme, get him to throw the ball accurately. But hey, 96 throw power, uh, 76, well, 74 short accuracy, 75 deep, 72 mid. He's got an 83 throw on the run, 93 break sack, 92 speed at 6'4", 244. Uh, the only other quarterback I can compare him to is Cameron Newton, and that's my boy. At running back, obviously, Jonathan Taylor. We've got superstar X-Factor on him. We are running the re-rated that franchise guy rosters with the uh, development changes to him. So, yes, we did move su superstar X-Factor on Jonathan Taylor, but you'll also see that, like, Julius Brents, for example, is a star on the default roster. Only normal dev here. So, um, Jonathan Taylor's got Freight Train, Bruiser, Jukebox, and Closer because he likes to wear those defensive down, defenses down and break out in the second half. We've got Zach Moss, Deion Jackson, Evan Hull, and Jake Funk rounding out the running back room. At wide receiver, we've got Michael Pittman Jr. He's kind of our big, tall target, 6'4", 223. And then we've got just a bunch of, well, I mean, Alec Pierce is another tall, deep threat kind of target. 6'3", 211. Besides that, we've got a bunch of playmakers. You know, um, Juwan Winfrey and Mike Strachan are both kind of tall, but I'm talking about the ones that actually play. Ashton Doolin, Josh Downs, Isaiah McKenzie. Um, they're going to be catching the ball and trying to make some plays after the catch. Tight end is interesting. Jelani Woods, uh, 24 years old. He does have star development, 71 overall. He's going to get the start to start the season. We also have Mo Ali Cox, who's 6'5", 267, just an absolute beast. Um, he's got 78 strength, but so does Jelani Woods. So, I mean, we're going to definitely stick with Woods and see what we can get. Kylan Granson here, also interesting. We might run him at fullback a little bit in our packages where uh, we do run a fullback. We'll just see about that. Offensive line is not that great. Bernard Raymond here, 71 overall, uh, 25 uh, years old. Let's upgrade him real quick. I didn't realize we had an upgrade for him. He is star development, so maybe we can we can work something out of him. We also have Jake Witt, who has star development as a rookie, so we love to see that, but he is a 56 overall. Uh, Quentin Nelson at left guard, obviously a beast. He's got, let's see here, Puller Elite, Nasty Streak, and we're going to give him post up. He's not going to lose any double teams. So uh, we're going to make sure everybody's abilities are full if they can have them. Um, as we scroll through the teams that we're playing, we'll make sure that their abilities are right too. Ryan Kelly at center. Will Freeze at right guard. Not very good. 25 years old. Normal development. Definitely looking to replace him. And then Braden Smith out of Auburn at right tackle. He's an 82 overall, but he is 27 years old. He's got star dev, so that'll keep him from progressing too much. We do have Blake Freeland here. Uh, normal dev, normal dev as a rookie. So that's a little disappointing. Um, on the defensive side, a lot of depth here. Quiddy Pay, Jacob Martin, Dio Odeimbo, uh, Al-Kahim Muhammad, and Jannard Avery. Uh, Quiddy Pay is nice and young, 24 years old. We're hoping to develop him some. But it's good to have some depth here. 
We are running a 4 3. Uh, Samson Ebucom at right end, a speed rusher, 28 years old. Hopefully, he can hold the fort down for a couple of years while we find somebody else um, to come in and be a uh, pass rusher of the future. Um, this guy right here, star development as a rookie, at a Tomiwa, at a Baware. Oh man, that's 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 a struggle. Well, maybe he can develop. Um, DeForest Buckner, X Factor, is a beast. He's got unstoppable force. El Toro, under pressure and inside stuff. He's going to anchor our defense. And we've also got Grover Stewart here. Grover Stewart, his contract expires this year. I don't know if we're willing to spin big on two defensive tackles. We've already got DeForest Buckner, obviously. Um, that 95 strength is tempting, though. Uh, we'll just see how that works out. And then at linebacker, we've got EJ Speed here. Uh, we've got Shaquille Leonard at middle linebacker and Zaire Franklin at right outside linebacker. A decent core who's like middle-aged veteran, middle-aged from NFL standards, you know. Um, so definitely need to look for some future uh, help there. But otherwise, not too bad for this season. And then a cornerback, uh, Kenny Moore, great slot cornerback. Uh, Julius Brents. 23 years old, normal development as a rookie, 70 overall. He is six foot three with 89 speed. We love to see that. Uh, Tony Brown is probably going to be down a little in the depth chart just so I can build up some of these younger guys. Uh, but he is six foot, 93 speed, 69 overall. Jalen Jones, six foot two. Uh, Darren Hall is six foot. Daryl Baker Jr., six foot one. Dallas Flowers, six foot one. So we've got some size here um, at the cornerback position. All of these guys in their first couple of years in the league. Hopefully we get some people to step up there. At safety, we've got Rodney Thomas III, uh, 24 years old, 69 overall, as well as Henry Black and Daniel Scott, both at 68. Strong safety, Julian Blackman. We're going to try and lock him up. He's a 74 overall. Um, he's got normal development. So, I don't know. We're definitely going to try and bring him back for a couple of years, I think. But maybe not the safety of the future, the franchise safety. But he's definitely got a spot on the team. And then Nick Cross as well, 21 years old, 69 overall. We're going to be working on him as well. So, um, you know, maybe bring Blackman back for two or three years and then have Nick Cross take over. At, back, uh, at kicker, we did sign Matt Gay. And then at punter, Rigoberto Sanchez. And that's what the team's looking like. I think it's about time we hop into training camp. Oh, we barely missed it right there. That is a silver. Just about 560 points on target passing. That's with Gardner Minshew, though. We're hopping into the pass, Skelly, with Anthony Richardson. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's get, That gets us a silver. We're just building this multiplier up. Just don't throw any incomplete passes. Come on. So close to a gold here. Oh my gosh, nobody's open. Well, we blew it at the end here. That's going to be it for Anthony Richardson. It will be a silver medal. So we'll take the silver medal and move on. Let's go, baby. Zach Moss to the house. Okay, that gives us our silver medal. We've got like two plays here to try and get gold. We need to score quickly. Make one man miss. Oh no, we couldn't make another miss, but the multiplier stays up. Multiplier stays up. Can we get a touchdown here? Stretch it to the outside. That's not going to be enough to get us gold. Oh, man. Hey, that's all right, though. Let's just our backup running back. All right, we got two reps left. The multiplier is only at four. I don't know if we can get a gold here. Uh-oh. Get back. Atta boy. All right, we're up to silver. Maybe if we can get a big touchdown here. Oh, yeah. He's got him. We're going for the five hundo. Oh, I don't think we laid it out enough for the 500, but it, I mean, hey, we were 2,600 away. A silver for Josh Downs in the wide receiver battle. All right, if you know me, you know I love a good tight end. Jelani Woods out here in the red zone battle. We've got him a silver already. We're shooting for gold. That's a big touchdown. Okay, if we can get a touchdown here, we've got our first gold of training camp. Oh, that wasn't a good release. Just hit him over the middle. That's what I'm talking about. A beautiful gold for Jelani Woods. It would be lovely. If we could get a development upgrade, get him up to superstar. That would be insane. Come on. Give me that development upgrade to superstar for our tight end, Jelani Woods. 
we did not get it, but that's okay. First gold medal of training camp. All right, last rep here for Quitty Pay. We are going for the gold. Let's go, baby. Breaking through. Atta boy. Atta boy. Just run through. Rip through. Oh, we missed our multiplier there. That I hope that doesn't come back and bite us. Okay, we got to get off this block. Got to get off this block. Rip through. Oh, go back and get that plus one. Atta boy. Get through there. Let's go. Bull rush. Sat the man. Take it easy on him. That's a gold. Let's go, baby. Come on. Give me a development trade upgrade. What a great way that would be to start off this franchise. Quitty Pay goes up from star to superstar in training camp. No, it does not happen, but that's okay. All right, last couple reps here for EJ Speed. We didn't really have a uh, linebacker to really develop, which is a problem in and of itself. But we've got three solid starting linebackers. Yeah, well, I mean, we've got Shaq Leonard, who's a beast, and then EJ Speed and Zaire Franklin are both okay. So we're just trying to boost our starting linebackers a little bit for this season. The cut stick has saved me, but I got pie-faced like three too many times by Jonathan Taylor this drill. We're only going to end up... Oh, we might end up with a silver here. Let's see if we can get a silver. I had pretty much consigned myself to bronze. We are going to get a silver. Maybe we can even get a gold? I don't know. Never mind. We're going to get pie-faced by Jonathan Taylor. He does not want us to get a gold. So we're going to get a silver with Quiddy... Uh, not Quiddy Pay. EJ Speed in the chase and tackle. All right, we got three reps remaining. Give me that. Let's go. Okay. All right, we're 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 going for gold here. Going for gold. It's a cover sack. There we go. That's a gold. That's a gold for Julius Brents. Now, uh, let's, let's just get a pick here. Okay, all right. We already got gold. Come on, let me get that dev trade upgrade up to star. Let me get that dev trade upgrade. We do not get that dev trade upgrade. Cross, we, you know, we run a lot of multiple safety routes, so we, we definitely want to get him up. Oh, nice. We're up to a silver. He's 21 years old. There we go. Another coverage sack. 21 years old, 69 overall. We could definitely see a future for him on our squad. Another coverage sack here. Let's go. Hey, we're going for gold. We're going for gold. And this is a drill I'm normally really bad at. All right, uh, okay, our multiplier just reset for some reason, so that's not good. Hey, we got gold because he dropped the pass. We love that. Come on, give me that dev trade upgrade for Nick Cross. Normal to star, normal to star, normal to star. No, okay, all right. It's okay, it's okay, it's a good finish. At the buzzer, just for good measure, we're going to destroy the target. That's a gold medal for Matt Gay. All right, final kick here for Rigoberto Sanchez. Man, I hit a touchback with like two kicks left. Really blew the chance at gold, but we're going to finish it up with a silver, and that's going to wrap up training camp. Let's All right, training camp in the books. We're going up against the Bills in week one in preseason. We're just going to go ahead and advance here. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a dub. We lost 10 to 6 in the preseason game. That's not very good. Not very good. Let's upgrade some players real quick. All right, so Jelani Woods has two upgrade tokens. We love to see that. We're just going to go ahead and boost him in possession twice. Plus three run block, plus three catching. We love to see that. One more possession boost. This is going to be a big boost for him here. We've got awareness, break tackle, catching traffic, catching medium route, pass block finesse, release, run block power, and speed. So that'll bring him up to 86 speed at 6'7". I mean, he could be a tight end of the future for us. We do like to use multiple tight ends. Matt Gay here. Uh, he's got 96 kick power. We're going to try and boost his kick power. I don't know if they'll give it to us yet. Hey, we got plus one kick power, so that brings him up to 97. Quitty pay, quitty pay. Power rusher boost right here. That'll bring him up to 77. Nice. Plus two power moves, plus one strength, plus one tackle. Uh, Rigoberto Sanchez, yeah, we're not too worried about it. We're just going to boost him real quick. All right, plus one to power and accuracy. All right, Josh Downs, boost that playmaker. You know, we want him to be able to make moves after the catch. So he's going to get plus three juke move there. That's a big, big boost there. Anthony Richardson, we are going to start boosting that field general. So a little boost here. Hopefully we get some accuracy upgrades. Yeah, so plus one to throw under pressure. Throw accuracy short and throw accuracy deep. 
EJ Speed is one of our stop, uh, one of our starting linebackers. So we love to see an upgrade here. Uh, plus four block shedding is huge. Julius Brent, we're gonna boost his man to man here. It doesn't quite make him a scheme fit, but hopefully, yeah, plus two man coverage. We love that. And then Nick Cross, uh, we're gonna boost his run support here. Very nice. He goes up to a 71 overall. Uh, plus one acceleration and agility. Plus two awareness, man coverage, and zone coverage. We love to see that. Come on now. Come on now, Julius Brent. Let's go. Let's go. Add a boy. That's going to be gold, right? Yeah. A coverage check to end it for good measure. Come on. Let me get that dev trade upgrade. Let me get that dev trade upgrade. Moving up to star. Let's go. We did not get it. Hopefully we can get this W against the Bears and Justin Fields. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we got the W, 16-14. We got a training camp standout. Let's check out who it is. Maybe a little quitty pay action. Yeah, quitty pay. Um, we want to boost his power and finesse moves. Yeah, he's definitely going to find himself in all of our pass rush packages this year. Uh, he's improving and becoming a threat to get to the quarterback. Absolutely. Plus three power and finesse moves for Quiddy Pay. We love to see it. All right, we did have a couple of injuries in practice this week. Grover Stewart and Andrew Ogletree, both just going to be out for a week. That's good to see. Let's upgrade some players real quick. Let's see what we got here. Just a couple, but Anthony Richardson is the biggest one. We are going to boost his field general. Love to see that. Let me see some accuracy boosts. Plus one accuracy short, plus two awareness. And then old Jake Funk, going to get a little boosted elusive back. Uh, you know, he's probably going to get cut soon. But hey, at least he can improve while he's here. That's everything. Let's uh, go ahead and advance the week and see what we got going on after this game against Philly. All right, we got some upgrades to make and we got 16 cuts to make. Let's go ahead and upgrade some players. Okay, so we only got one upgrade real quick. It's Josh Downs. We love to see that. He's going to get a nice playmaker upgrade, plus three awareness, two break tackle, one juke, and two medium route. That is nice. That is a good juicy upgrade. Now we got to make 16 cuts. Let's take a look. All right, Sam Ellinger is pretty garbage. We're just going to move him to the practice squad, though. We're going to move Evan Hull to the practice squad, but we're just going to go ahead and cut all Jake Funk. Oh, Mike Strachan, Strachan, he's out of here. Well, we can move him to practice squad. I was thinking since he's 26, he wouldn't be able to go, but he can go to the practice squad. Dewan Winfrey, we might come back and let go of if we can't figure out other people to cut. All right, because this is Madden, we do not need to keep our long snapper, so Luke Rhodes, you're out of here. All right, Will Mallory and Andrew Ogletree both going to find their way onto our practice squad. Ryan Hayes here is going to go to the practice squad. We're keeping Jake Witt on the active roster because he's got that star dev. Arlington Hambright, you're out of here, bud. All right, we got a lot of depth that left in. Not really a ton of people that we want to get rid of, honestly. Um, Let's see. We can free up some cap space with al Muhammad, Muhammad. So we're going to go ahead and let him go. Jannard Avery, we'll also go ahead and let go. So now we've got three... Really, probably hang on to Jacob Martin just in case we get the injury bug. But let's see here. I am going to go ahead and cut Taekwon Lewis, even though he's a 74. We're going to free up a little cap space, and we're going to free up some playing time for um, Addy Addy here. I'm just going to call him Addy Addy because I'm not... Hmm. I just... I'm going to butcher his name. I did him. Addy Addy. Addy Addy. All right. So Titus Leo is going to go to the practice squad. Same with Isaiah Land. All right. And Daryl Baker Jr., you're headed to the practice squad. Trevor Denbo is going to go to the practice squad. All right. We do want to add a fullback for our offense. Uh, perfect fit here since we are running the Ravens playbook. Ben Mason was put on the Ravens practice squad. He's 73 overall, 24 years old out of Michigan. Pretty good for a fullback. He's got 79 trucking, 81 strength, 75 lead block. 81 speed. We're going to go ahead and sign him, which means we're going to have to cut one more player. All right, Dallas Flowers, we are going to move to the practice squad. All right, and we got one spot left on our practice squad. We are going to sign one of my favorite practice squad signings, Smoke Monday. Not only is he from Auburn, just a great name overall, and you can never have too many safeties. 
All right, so that's it for preseason. We have gotten through it. We are ready to advance to the regular season. We're taking on the Jaguars in week one. I hope y'all enjoyed this little intro episode. We'll see you next time for week one against the Jaguars. I appreciate you. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you know when week one is live. It'll be soon. Peace.